bee club meets a few times a year and we go to a member's bee yard where we open hives and we look at bees and we talk about bees non-stop which is always a great time you can see I'm photographing the ground and the reason why is I want to highlight this plant which is called plantain it comes originally from Eurasia but it grows everywhere you have seen this plant I know it it's in the playground it's in the cracks of driveways and sidewalks it's in my backyard it grows everywhere there's a broadleaf plant and a narrow leaf plant this plant of course is called a weed but it's a phenomenal plant it has calcium it has vitamins A, C, and K. The leaves and the flower spikes and the seeds are totally edible. You can even grind those seeds up to make a flower to make bread. So this plant is healthy for you to eat. And this scenario I want to cover with you is you've been stung by wasp, hornet, insect, or honeybee. Or you've got a wound. And what you can do is you can take the leaves of this healing plant, plantain, chew them up or mash them up and then put them on the sting or the wound and they will help it heal. Beekeepers all over the world rave about plantain as the best plant to put on a sting to stop the pain and the itch and the venom in your skin and take down the swelling. It's a phenomenal plant. I wish we wouldn't call some of these plants weeds because they're so healthy for us. If you see some of these plantain leaves right now, I'd like you to pick some, wash them in cold water and lay them out on paper towels to dry because in a few weeks I want to do a project with you where we make a plantain salve using plantain leaves, olive oil and some beeswax. That's all you need.